Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you step by step how to create this beautiful gallery wall mock-up for free. And stay tuned for my next video because in that one I will show you how to create editable mock-ups that you can uh, use in your own Etsy shops or you can do your own photography create mockups out of them and list them on Etsy or on any other sites as digital products to make extra money at the end of the month. Creating this uh, gallery wall is not that hard, especially if you are using something like Canva, but you can also create this with Photoshop, which would make changing up the designs so much easier. And the good thing about Photoshop is that you can create designs in 3D and you can make them in perspective, whereas in Canva we can only do things at the moment if you are not doing custom frames. You can only do things that are flat and uh, there are no curves and things like that. Even with my custom Canva frames that you can check out on the link below, those work best with products that are flat and are not in 3D like tumblers or mugs. Those work good as well when you make it in Photoshop. I thought that I would make this video because uh, lots of you like creating wall art and wall art is the easiest kind of digital product to make, especially when you are a beginner digital product creator. And a very effective strategy to making more money is when you're creating bundles out of your products. And for those bundles, of course, you will need some really attractive listing images. And gallery wall mockups are perfect for that. There are quite a few advantages of gallery walls, the first being that you can display a larger number of items in a pretty way. The next is that you can display multiple sizes. Now here you can choose to display your designs in multiple sizes because I am assuming that you will be selling them in multiple sizes or you can choose to display the same size all over your gallery wall. You can do 3x3 three three and they could be the same size or you can do one big in the middle and a few medium sized ones and then a bunch of smaller ones but this is of course up to you and of course the flexibility is bigger in Photoshop than in Canva or in any other programs but without any further ado let me show you how to create a gallery wall mock-up for free yeah so let's hop over to my computer and let me show you that okay the first step to creating a gallery wall mock-up is to go onto freepick.com or any other free image website that you can think of or that you have been using until now. I would stay away from Google because on Google you don't know the commercial use status of those images and you might be using something that you shouldn't and that is a problem of course. But here on Freepik or on Splash or any other sites like this you can search for free images that you can use in your Etsy shop. So let me show you. I just entered in as a keyword gallery wall and these are the results. Of course here you can filter. If you know how to use Photoshop then you would filter for Photoshop but for the purpose of this video we are going to filter for photos. And here on the left hand side we are going to check this free option. I always prefer free if it is possible. And these are the results that we can work with. These two look really nice, but there are only two images on here. But this is a really nice one for a set of two. Let's try to find some that has multiple images. This is the same concept with 3 and with 10, but we don't need something like that. I just thought of a better keyword for this kind of a project. So let's type in frame mockup. And we have these nice frames with some extra decor details. But we need an extra keyword here to make it uh, multiple. I just added in the keyword multiple and we have more options now. We can use this one. I think I found a few good ones that we can work with, but let me show you the difference of what Photoshop can make compared to Canva. So we have this photo where there are many frames, but they are covering each other. If you would like to add your designs to these frames in Canva, you would block out the frames that are behind. So for example, if you would add an image into this white frame that would cover the two other frames that are in front of it, and if you would add another one, then you would also again cover the frame of the brown one. 
but this can be remedied very easily in Photoshop so that's why subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for the next video in which I'm going to show you how to create mock-ups in Photoshop but we have this and this mock-up I think we're going to work with this one with the bed because it will have a really nice effect when it is done I'm going to download this image, I'm going to upload it to Canva and I will show you how to add your mockups. So in Canva we are going to create a design, custom size, you know that I like to use this 2000 by 1500 pixels option. Here is my canvas and I uploaded the photo that I just got from Freepik and I'm going to size it to this frame. And I, let's center it nicely. Okay. For the purpose of this video I'm not going to create designs that would go into this frame, I'm just going to show you how you can insert your designs into this image. You have two options, you can either use frames that are that Canva already has, and this might not fit these frames exactly, but if it is a very close match we can work with it, or you can just directly import your designs onto this image and uh, just slap them on there and I don't mean it in a bad way, but you can just simply add them uh, on top of this image. The good thing with the frames is that you can very easily change your designs because the frame will contain your design 100% and you do not have to resize each and every image when you import them into Canva. So that's why frames are faster but they might not work for each size. What I'm going to do for the purpose of this video, I'm going to search for some really nice photos that could be printed as wall art or maybe we can find some conceptual things we will see that would fit into this scene. I have my three images now and I'm going to try to paste them into these frames. After that I'm going to show you how to do this with the Canva frames. And that's how you do it when you are not using Canva frames. Now I'm going to duplicate this page and I will try to find some frames that will fit these other frames. This is the problem with Canva frames that they cannot be resized. But just for the purpose of this video you might have a different image that you are working with and the frame fits perfectly into your mockup. What you can also do here is to leave that white margin there and that way it will look like the frame has an extra frame in it if you know what I mean. It looks a little bit more elegant, it's not that as big as in this case. So we have these images and now it would be pasted into one of these frames and as you can see the extra white frame accentuates the image a little bit more but depending on the style that you are going for you can go for the full on image with no extra margin or you can use this white frame method. And as a third bonus method I just uh, would quickly show you how to do this 100% in Canva. You can just go into the photos and search for the, and search for the keyword wall art. Of course you can filter for free and pro images. Uh, not everything that you can see here is included in the free subscription. So if you would consider using Canva Pro and you would like to sign up for it, there is a link in the description and I would really appreciate if you would use my link. We have quite a few options here for gallery wall arts. And let's take this one for example. Or let's find a nicer one. Okay, so I really like this one, but I'm not. I'm going to quickly resize it something like this. You would use a different image size for this, of course. 
but you can do the same technique here as well. I have the copied image. With these you can resize a little bit, but you will lose some of the design details. You can see here that we have that extra white frame on uh, around the image and it looks quite nice in my opinion. So that is how you create mock-ups for your wall arts. 100% free using Freepik and Canva or if you choose the pro version of Canva that will not cost you very much at the end. That was it for today's video and don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for the next one where I will show you how to create mock-ups in Photoshop. Now that I'm thinking of it, I might in the next one I will show you how to use the Photoshop mockups that are already out there and after that in another video I will show you how to create mockups in Photoshop from scratch using smart objects. I really hope you enjoyed today's video and found value in it. If you did hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you will never miss another video in which I talk about the digital products, making money online and all things related to that. I will see you in the next one. Bye bye!